Get away from the stress of the world. Subscribe. Share. Subscribe. Share. Save. Pray. Comment. Love. <laughs>to the croak and crow podcast i am spencer cardia renmin b what i am renmin b who's that that's chinese money chinese money and this here is frank um always back looking in good. food service back in food service <laughs> has the little uh hair net on mm-hmm. for all of the hair that he does not have you still uh, have to wear it probably though you think standard i bet you don't i bet you can be a chef with a bald head if the standard... Well, I wasn't even thinking chef. I was thinking more like cafeteria worker. Oh. Yeah, I still bet you don't. I thought it would be like everyone wears it. That way nobody can complain. Well, no, because they have the beard guard if you have a beard. Yeah. Everyone doesn't have to wear the beard guard. Because <laughs> <laughs> you have a, a, a shaven face. Yeah. So I'd imagine the same would apply for the head guard. Um, how you doing? Like, or, or, or also it helps you from splashes of oil and stuff. I don't think it's that protective. And I think, why would you be care? Like, the top of your head is probably the strongest if oil. So like, let me get it. Oil on my <laughs> eyes and my nose and my mouth. All right. But as right. long as he my scalp like is protected. He just likes it. He just likes it. Who knows? It might be for the shower. A little shower cap. Shower caps. Have you oil, seen the- What's all that about? <laughs> oh, my God. I love shower caps. Uh, yeah. Well, because you're not supposed to wash your hair too much. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Um, have you seen the, the tattoos that you can get to make it look like you have um stubble on your head yeah yeah i love that you like that yeah i love the option that has been um afforded to male pattern baldness um i don't want to say sufferers but people who are experiencing male pattern baldness yeah they don't want to be bald and all of a sudden nature's saying well you're going to be yeah and not even evenly maybe we'll take it from the top maybe take we'll it take from it from the top from- <laughs> maybe we'll take it from half yeah why is it never half wouldn't that be funny if the male pattern baldless, bald, bald, bald. <laughs> whatever, it would only be the right side of your head instead of the top. Yeah, it'd be weird, wouldn't it? Yeah. But I guess we'd be used to it, just like we're used to the back of the no, head. No, we could never be used to a side pony for a man. That would be... Maybe, I mean, you kind of see, isn't that what the whole comb over is? No, I guess that's just to still cover the top. Yeah, yeah. So it's a tattoo, and they just do dots, pixel little, dots little all pixel over dots. your head. Yeah. And I love that they have that option because we talked about baldness before and that women... We had a whole bald podcast. Yeah, women are able to um, are able to wear wigs and it's frowned upon oh, for men. you can wear a little toupee. Do you think people still do that? Toupee. Yeah, they d- absolutely do it. Really? I think they have the high-end like plugs now where no, you can there's just not, get real hair. Okay, so on Instagram, I follow the tattoo dots. I follow... It's called... Um, oh my gosh, the name just went out of my head. It's called a unit, I think. Okay. And... It is a toupee and it has a very, I think like a rubbery, like a, you know, like sticks to the wall toys, you know, rubbery. Yeah. And it, they really, put, they shave you. Okay. So like, even if you're um thinning, yeah. they shave it clean. Yeah. Shave it clean. You go to the hair salon, you know, you get, it's time, I guess. It's time. However, however hair grows. They shave it, then they put the glue. Yeah. And then they put this unit and it kind of really sticks on there. Literally, you might be thinking like hair like yours, which you can hide with like layers and, and um, floofing. They do it with African-American men with a short, like you're like, you, you wouldn't, you think it would be harder to oh. to um, hide that. But yeah. they even do it with them. You don't need to put like a big flowy hair. No. You, can, you can have a short little yes. cut. Not even knowing They those. match it up and then they, they blend it somehow. And then yeah. you're good until however long your regrowth takes. Yeah. So um, they do exist. They're, they're more they're more advanced now. Yeah. But um, with the dots, as I'm trying to get to, <laughs> I'm thinking that they'll forever have dark hair. You know. Yeah. Well, I think like stubble is always kind of dark. Oh, is it? I don't know. Yeah. Even if you have lighter hair, it's gonna come. Up, it's gonna look. I meant white dark. hair, like old person. Oh. Yeah. yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. What do you do then when you have the white hair and the dark? Right. Oh man, I don't think they thought that far ahead. I don't think they ahead. maybe a little hot, <laughs> head. Well, guys, how you doing? It's a, it's a beautiful Thursday uh, coming off of a, wen- a heated Wednesday podcast. The only thing that cooled us down yesterday was the ice cream. The ice cream, which turns out it, it was already announced. We asked, 
yesterday and we had this mystery flavor ice cream and we tried it and um said oh when are we gonna find out it was already announced and i guess they're still just selling it as mystery ice cream but right on the money it was blueberry pancake right on the money i tried it with someone else after the podcast i didn't i didn't i had them do it and they they couldn't get it really they, they were like i'm tasting coffee how I don't know if it's just an association with breakfast. <laughs> oh, have your morning coffee and blueberry pancakes. Yeah. So um, their palate was a little off. And the, well, uh, I was also skewed. I did see blueberries in the ingredients list, but I'm pretty confident I would have gotten it anyway. Yeah. Especially and then seeing it. I'd Maybe s- blind taste test. Yeah. Also, I, I, was, I saw blueberry in the ingredients before I even tried it. You said it's blueberry pancake. Just from a guess. You from said the, blueberry pie. Yeah. And I said blueberry pancake. And then once I tried it, I all I did was confirm. You confirmed what was already told to me. And the other thing was the was the was the baby formula shortage of yes. the United States. Uh, you find out what that's all about. No, but I did. <laughs> <laughs> I found another vague headline about it that the president has put in like a uh, emergency emergency funding or something. Yeah. Like a, some sort of very. It doesn't happen lightly. Um, he has enacted it because I do believe the formula is in Canada. Okay. So it's like, it's around. It's there. It's there. We just need to get it. Yeah. So that was a little update, even though it was hardly yeah, informational. I'm, I'm over the whole attack of presidents for this kind of thing. Mm-hmm. I saw this one headline today that said, you know, uh, our gas prices are through the roof. Um, babies can't eat formula. There was like one other thing that was happening. And it was like, and yet, you know, the president is sending billions over to Ukraine. It's like nobody's ever happy. No. You know, nope. if it was the opposite, you wouldn't even you wouldn't think about gas. Price. Like if gas prices weren't up, you're not talking, you're not high five and say at least we have low gas prices. Right. Gas prices would be regular. Who would have celebrated last year that there was enough baby formula to go I haven't thought around. about I haven't thought about baby formula right. since, until yesterday. Right. And then it would have been. Wow, the government's turned a blind eye to a... It's like, people are never happy. No. You know, a wise man once told me, if I cured cancer today, they'd say, why didn't I do it yesterday? My grandma died a year ago. Right. And if you doubt that, just read the Bible, which is full of so many governments and leaders and um, countries... uh, Always, always having problems and always having problems and, and, and so, taxes. And it, it, uh, yeah, I think it's just you can always. And I mean, it goes to what we say just on a normal day. I think, um, which which always is my philosophy of two people can have the exact same day, and one person right. a great day, one person's a terrible day. Right. It's all dependent on perspective. And with you know, people love to get to get on the government and stuff, and the president at the time, and with anything. You can make something look bad with the Bible. People that don't like the Bible can tear it apart and yeah. say, "Well, it says this. Well, it says right. this. It's, it all depends on how you look at it." And so, I think the better way to go about things is to look at things with a glass half full and then look at the good yes. thing and not be constructive and say, "Obviously, you know, we were complaining about the government yesterday, saying I'm um, talking about healthcare, right?" But to th- this idea of it's always wrong. If, mm-hmm. if it's against what I think, it's wrong, and and can't see the good things that are happening i don't know i don't know I'm yeah a little sweet today i want to look at the grass the, the green grass i don't want to look at the uh weeds. the fact that yeah it's, it's, it's all weeds. muddled with weeds um but 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 be mindful a psa be mindful it's okay to complain i i said you can complain to god yeah um it's okay to complain and and, and a lot of things get fixed when you complain you know yeah. you you uh, the, identify the greasy it. wheel gets the wrench you identify it and then you work on fixing it and that's because you didn't ignore it. So that's fine. But be mindful that everyone is different. And if there are people in your life who cannot take a lot of negativity, it, it, it does not serve well at all to kind of inundate them with it. Some people handle it better than others. So, you know, this this piling on, like if someone doesn't have a baby and then you're like, did you hear about this? Did you hear about that? Yeah. Did you hear about this? It's very stressful and um, it can really put someone in a, in a downward spiral. Always remember this story years ago and it was an old very old couple in italy okay and they were like it was on the news and it made not it made international news of how that's how i heard it they got so depressed because of all the and this was before covid this was years ago yeah of all the news and how it seemed so hopeless and so um i think they called the police or something i forget how the police got there (laughs) but they were this old depressed very sad couple 
And this, the, I think the reason it went viral is because the police cooked them spaghetti. <laughs> what country was this? Italy. Because as I say, this could not have been America. No. <laughs> Italy. Oh, they love. And <laughs> oh, cookie. It sounds like a fake like Italian story. The, the, or like a commercial for I like know. a pasta Yeah, brand. right. But real though. They cooked them <laughs> pasta. Like they were like, just have some food. Like, you know, like, have yeah. some delicious dinner. And like, because you don't realize, you really don't. Everyone has different tolerances. And you might be taking someone anxiety yeah. wait 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 and then they're you spiraling. might be taking someone's <laughs> yeah not saying any names here <laughs> making someone's anxiety through the roof yeah but um yeah so let's keep the anxiety wait hey you're listening to the crow, crow podcast to wind down yes get away from the stress of the world subscribe share subscribe, share save pray comment love <laughs> <laughs> just two different groupings yeah um anything else so it's speaking of uh people any- should people should subscribe real quick though we never ever say it but we if, never ever will if if you have happened upon this channel because it was a, it was a suggested which you yeah. know that happens um and you might think oh what a quirky one-off you know like what, what, what we have like 300 videos to watch so and you wouldn't know that, and you and we and we're putting out three a week. So if they subscribe or push the um, notification, you will always have something to watch. You'll always have something to listen to, to watch, to share. Right, the to podcast love. to listen. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's great. Um. But to re- rewind, talk about anxieties oh. and and life weighing down on you, and just I can't take it anymore. Today is National Barber Mental Awareness Day. Barber mental awareness. Yeah, barber mental awareness. What is that? To be mentally aware of a barber or his to, mental health? The a barber's mental health. Because he has the razor in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want any Sweeney Todd action going on. Is that what? Like, what no, do you mean? No, it's because what happens when you sit down in a barber chair? You... The barber goes. Oh, it's like your little psychologist. How are we doing today, Paul? Okay. Ah, well, my wife is still nagging me. My kids that's, are all deadbeats. And, you know, I just can't take it anymore. It's that's like, very oh, stereotypical. Don't, don't worry, Paul. Typical. Um, that's and what so, it means? Yeah. It's, oh. it's, it's people are, it, the barber is a lot of people's confidant. I wonder if he's stressed out. Well, I'm sure he, the, the barber, you know, like. Who, like a bartender. You know what they say? Like, who delivers the, the mailman's mail? It's. Well, the barber's always asking, how we doing today? Yeah. Who's asking the barber how right. they're doing? Right. So it's Barber National Awareness. Uh, these, barber these, um, National Health Awareness. These stuff. occupations that you don't think about, right? Um, I said the other day that I had heard dentists have a high suicide rate. Really? And I don't know why. And then I... That if was I the other day. I get bad breath in my nostrils every day, so let me tell you. I said that the other day, but then from watching... Um, I was watching the Amber Heard... Johnny Depp trial. Justice for Johnny. And I am like, I have to be a lawyer. Like, I want to be a lawyer so much. Yeah. I just, I think it's like, I could do good. I really think I could do good. Yeah. And so I was... Um, Objection like that. Overruled. Oh, wait, I'm the judge now. So I was like, I want to be a lawyer. And um, and they were like, are you nuts? Like, that's the most stressful job. And I'm like, really? And and they pulled it up. And yeah, they have more heart attacks. Um, I think heart attacks and something else... Than because of stress, than other occupations to the point that ju- the, I don't know where this person was reading this, but it's like the judges literally are taught to um, to observe or what's it called? Recognize the symptoms of a heart attack because lawyers have heart attacks in the courtroom. I believe it. I have a little heart attack anytime I have a public speaking, and have and you have to imagine. Why they go into the occupation so you, you, then? Well, because you have to imagine, just like other you know social servants. When you look at a lawyer, mm-hmm. you're just seeing, ah, I can de- I can defend a case. I- yeah. I'm good at argumenting. Yeah. The pressure. Argumenting. Argumenting. The pressure you of- You would be a good lawyer. The pressure of someone's life being in your hand. Yeah. Well, I, not every lawyer is- a, Their lives aren't on the line. You could be a contract lawyer. You could be a- Yeah, but still, it's like you're trying to- like, You ever try to True. make an there, argument yeah. with someone who is good at arguing yeah. and like- even though you're 100 percent right, it's just like making yeah. you boil inside. And imagine being objected, not. And it's like you know, because th- yeah. there's a lot of things where there the, the whole like there's a joke about the Amber Heard trial where it's like hearsay, right. objection, objection. Right. To so one point, can't um, get a word in Amber's Heard Heard's lawyer said, "I have no more questions." 
not be not because any of her questions wouldn't have made good arguments, but you have to play this li- linguistics mm-hmm. game to get your points across. Right. And if you say it the wrong way, now you can no longer say your power punch point. Right. And it's just like all of, of this. It turns it into more than two people arguing a case on the street. Right. All right. All right. So don't be a lawyer. Actually, why not? Be one. I'm going to be a lawyer like Kim Kardashian. I don't. Oh, is she a lawyer now? Well, I, I thought th- she'd I become a judge. I, I I thought all lawyers, I thought all judges were lawyers, but I know at least locally they're not. Yeah, co-locally? I'd like to be a lawyer. No, I'd like to be a judge. No. You know what? Judges, it's crazy that like, what do they do? You know? That's the thing. They I, don't decide. I used to think they decided. Maybe they decide too. in some cases. but No, they never. Never? They decide the sentence. No, but there's not always a jury trial. What? There's not always a jury ah, there. Well, you're talking about like civil suits, like yeah, Judge they... Judy. Yeah. She doesn't have a jury. Right. No, but in, in any kind of... I didn't know that. She literally is sitting there so that the lawyers don't fight. Yeah. And that... She's a mediator, she's basically. She's a mediator. She's, a, she's really just there to keep things running smoothly. Keep things running smoothly. And yeah, just to, to say... Like a referee. Literally, a judge right. is a referee. She should wear the outfit. Um, The other day, the witness was like confused about something and so they turned to the judge which is like two feet to yeah. her left and the judge did not att- did not address the witness and looked at the lawyer and said will you please tell your witness to not yeah. to not address the court not even me because like she's supposed to be the court she's yeah. the spokesperson for the court which is interesting because when you have judges yeah we should we should call judges in competition jury <laughs> you know yeah because they, they don't give the score all they do, yeah, and then they make the sentence. So if you're found guilty, then they do. She, but, the, but there's parameters. Well, yeah, if, yeah, by under under what they're guilty on, dirt. right? And so minimum, I guess, maximum. That's a bad thing about having like a bad judge is is what is like one the sentence, and if you are not guilty, and two, I guess the things that you do sustain. Yeah. And by sustain, I mean allow. So if you say objection to right. the other person. If the ju- judge says abstained, it's, yeah, that was a good objection. Sustain. Whatever. Sustain. Abstain. Sustain. Abstain. No. I, and Obscene. That's one more thing. We're talking yesterday about the in- inequity of people of lower income and, you know, and how they just have to scramble to try to make yeah. for themselves. Just we're talking about the court. And I was watching a deposition on this celebrity trial right now. And there was a high, lo- a high priced lawyer who was being deposed. He was Johnny yeah. Depp's lawyer. And they're asking him questions. He had a lawyer with him in the deposition. So it's just a film we were watching um, where they would ask him a question and he would sit there and the lawyer would 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 tell him if he had to answer it or not. He's mm. like, you don't have to answer that. You don't have to. And then and then um, I forget what he what this guy kept saying. Something like I accept his I accept the instruction. It sounded like aliens or something, but I couldn't believe that. And yeah. I just thought of all the people who don't have legal representation like that. And it literally is only because of money. Yeah. So so therefore, the system is not fair. The system isn't fair. Just look at our bond system. Right. Um. Yeah. Well, let's get into it, guys. We're not into that. We've gotten into that. Let's get into what today's all about. Today's Thursday. Wacky, dacky Thursday. My favorite day of the week. Um. On Thursday, we have a little thing called Walk Through Thursday. Before we get into that, we're going to roll the intro. Welcome back. Hope you're having fun. Cuz Walk Through Wednesday just begun. What is going on, guys? It is Walk Through Thursday, like I previously just said before. On Walk Through Thursday, we open up the Bible. Mm -hmm. Bible is open. Hallelujah. Once the Bible is open, just like our Instagram stories... Check it out. We pick a verse uh, from any one of the 33 books of the Bible. And we just take the 66. one. Yeah, 33 times two. <laughs> um, oh, right. You pick. I pick. You said we pick. I, yeah, I was, just, I, was, I was just messing. Okay. And we just get one little nugget out of the Bible. The whole Bible is great. We could talk about it for hours. But in our little time span, we're going to talk about one verse. and little sort of piece of manna. Break it down and, and just get some value out of that one verse. Talk about it more. Talk about it deeper. So we are just going to get into it. Okay. Uh, sentence by sentence. Line, line by, by line, line. Word by word. word letter, letter by letter. letter. Let's just, just do it. it. And today's Bible verse that we picked, I used it on my yesterday's um, 
story story for the Bible bracket. And um, I'm like, you know what? I want to talk about that. It is from two Chronicles. Okay. Two Chronicles. Two <laughs> Chronicles. Chronicles. It's two Chronicles 2020. A lot of twos. Like, like the vision that I do not have. 2020 vision. I have far worse vision than that. Spiritually, <laughs> you have 2020. Spiritually, I have 2040. Visually. Yeah, that. Or 4020. Vis- visually vision. So. <clears throat> you do not have 2020. It goes a little something like this. Believe in the Lord your God and you will be able to stand firm. Believe in his prophets and you will succeed. It's pretty simple. Okay. Pretty simple, sis. <laughs> but I like it and I like it a lot. Two Chronicles. Two Chronicles. So I'm just going to start talking. Please do. All right. So believe in, we'll start with the first part. Believe in the Lord your God and you will be able to stand firm. One of the reasons I like this is because stand firm makes me think of yesterday we talked about support yes. you know and and so god love support able to stand firm in your belief in god and um i like that we can get into it but believe in his prophets and you will succeed now here's what i want to say about this okay there i'm trying to 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 you choose my words correctly because i don't want to diminish anything in the bible that's from the prophets you know what i mean but believe in his prophets and you will succeed i i think there there is an important distinction to make when we read the bible because you know it is the bible crafted by god we sometimes will put every line as important as the next and and that's why i'm trying to use my words right because yes obviously everything in the bible is of equal importance Plus word, yeah mm-hmm. we, we need it all but there is prophets and there is god and and by the prophets we mean everyone you know, you know the moses the abrahams all the information um, givers all the information givers the the, the real human people that weren't jesus they weren't right. they weren't god on earth they were humans they, who, like the bible literally tells you when they died this one died at 130 years yes. old like they're making a point of saying you to you they do die yes and they were great. They had the Holy Spirit in them. Mm-hmm. And they they were our, our people we, we should follow. Spoke to God, yeah. And the only reason I, I say the difference is because, you know, like sort of what when we, we always say like the Bible boils down to love. And that's what we talked about yesterday of, of God yes. is, is love. And what would Jesus do? Like when you're handling your life, handle with love and you're right. But to the people that then just bring up the rules of the Bible, like the rules that that were set forth by you know i i think the bible is two things at once it's a book of of god which is love you know and, and it's, it's how to live your life and then it is a basically like a how to for life right and and that's sort of the difference of what this is saying i mean like this is a, this is from the bible and so you know you have to believe it but it's like believe in the lord your god and you'll be able to stand firm believe in his prophets and you'll succeed a lot of these things that we may get hung up on about the Bible and like, Oh, well in the Bible says that's a sin and, and that's good. And that's the, like, it's all the prophets and what it will amount to is success, success in life. Okay. And so we should follow, we should follow the, 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 the ways that the prophets lived and stuff, but it is two different things going on. And, and I think it's why it doesn't make you a bad person. If you go against if someone tells you, well, in the Bible, it says this and the Bible it says this. And it's like, yes, what you're showing me is what is what, you know, you believed in the prophets and, and they showed you how to succeed. And I'm not saying you're not living a good life. Right. But that does not mean I don't have God believe in the Lord, your God, and you'll be able to stand firm. Like, that doesn't mean I don't have that. I will always. Yeah. If, if they try to. Are you saying if like if they try to judge you for not following the ways of the prophets, you can still say, well, I, I. I may not be doing that, but I am. I will always stand firm. Yes, because I believe in God. Yeah, mm-hmm. and and, uh, and so like before I talk about yeah, like not doing one, doing the other. The benefit of both is right. when you have belief in the Lord and, and you know you have a relationship with Him, you have that 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 love and and, and you have that open line of relationship and you live a mm-hmm. life with that. And then to continue it, you know, you learn about all of the 
the people who lived lives through God right. and they show you the blueprint of success in life and what to do and, and sacrifice and, you know, undying faith and, and charity. All, right. of, all of these things are a success. But I think the point I like of I'm making of separating it is because sometimes people will see you not doing something right. that amounts to success and say, you're not following God. Right. And it's like, I think there's two things going on here. And I think that's what Chronicles is saying. It's you can still have love in your heart and you make mistakes and right. you do things. And it doesn't mean that you're straying away from God. It means you're not following the blueprint of success. Right. Like, like, right. Which happens to all of us. You might go off your path, but overall, you're not not following God. Um, We said long, long ago, like I said, we have three hundred over 300 videos. So you have to or episodes podcast um all the way in the beginning we used to talk about levels of spirituality yeah. christianity um religiosity and and it's fine to come in on the ground floor yeah. and know absolutely nothing like you say two chronicles and it's like i don't even know what that means you know yeah. um and that but just to be open and to take love into your heart you're, you're already there and yeah. then you can you if you want it's it, it's great. It's enriching. You can go you can go up. You can learn the books of the Bible. You yes. can learn the stories. You can learn the characters, all the way up. And so same thing. Like so with this, it seems like like ground floor. Um, what's it called? Support yeah. structure foundation. God keeps me firm. Yeah. And then you can go the way of like, yeah. the prophets. And, and, and I think a lot of times we bring up Jesus coming and and saying. It's okay. Oh, I am doing something on the Sabbath, and and discrediting a lot of a lot mm-hmm. of the laws of old. Yeah. And we always say, but we, like, well, why didn't we get rid of the Old Testament then? Like, right? If he, he just denounced it because he didn't. I don't like. I, I right. think no. And we we love the Old Testament callbacks all the time. And yeah, all the callbacks. And I think part of it is this: it, it's that idea that it's all great. And you follow everything from the Old Testament and the New Testament as a chance to succeed, but believe in them both. But sometimes I think, like I said, we use one and then, it, or if we don't do one, then we discredit the other. Right. We, we put almost the prophets and God in the same, right. in the same hand. And it's like, you know, God is love. And it's like, but that doesn't mean there was a lot of things in the Bible that weren't human. Right. And it's still important. It's still yes. a, a protected word because it it shows us how to like the uh, how to live your life well. But let me quickly in one we have one minute. I think just if you would just say you will succeed. Does this mean I'm going to be the CEO or like what would what would my success what success am I going to get from following the prophets? Is it financial? Is it spiritual? It's is spiritual. It, is it yourself? It's, it's internal success. Like uh, it, it's. In turn, and to go back to that separation um, of these man-made laws, or not mm-hmm. man, these like these following the prophets laws for man, yeah. And it's like, oh, well, why shouldn't you do it? And and it's like, one remember when I used to talk about um, the importance of remembering why we do things, yes. like not doing Lent blindly, right? But remembering why, yeah. And I think a lot of it is that of these old laws that's like and people forget why it's like well why were we taking the sabbath day off it's like if you're just if chick-fil-a is closed it's like eh, who cares if you're if you go back to the roots and say i want a day to do this and so but so that is where the success comes is having two separate and you can then still follow the things and and you will be successful Mm -hmm. you will you will have a successful life because you've devoted your time into living a life according to the bible and, and and what the prophets of the bible did and always through that you will um stand firm with god and, and that's just a constant yeah forget about the laws don't ever tell me that someone who isn't following the laws of the bible bible but believes in god isn't still god isn't still in him because god's with everyone right but then are they succeeding spiritually mentally no if, if they're not doing it if they're not living a good life according right, to right, the right. bible but that's an internal success and, and you want to strive to do both but i think it's important to 
remember that there is two things. Yeah. And that if you do mess up on the success thing temporarily, you never lose You're always God. supported. Yeah. Firm on your feet. Firm on your feet. But um, yeah, I mean, we can talk more about that. If that was a little confusing, let us know down in the comments and we'll clear it right up for you. But until uh, then, tomorrow is Dr. Seuss Friday. You know how that goes. Um, go out and have fun. Eat a sandwich tonight. It's on me. Peace. <laughs>